Happy holidays. Happy holidays. They are the enduring symbols of Christmas. The lights, the trees, and of course, the music. And no song captures the spirit of the season more than White Christmas. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. It's a song that it seems to always have been around. Brian Darcy James' version of the song is for the touring musical White Christmas. The song's composer, the legendary Irving Berlin, a Russian Jewish immigrant who, although he couldn't even read or write musical notation, managed to compose more than a thousand songs, the very foundation of our American songbook. I'm dreaming of a Christmas. But it was White Christmas, one of his simplest, just 54 words and 67 now classic notes, it remains his most popular. In fact, it is the biggest selling song in history. I think for my father that Christmas was an American holiday more than anything else. It was certainly nothing he was exposed to, to say the least, in, in Russia. Linda Emmett is the second of Berlin's three daughters. We sat down with her at Berlin's former residence in New York. Today, it's the Luxembourg consulate. Tell me, what was Christmas like uh, in, the, in the Berlin household? Merry Christmas Day! Well, the Christmas was typical secular Christmas with a Christmas tree and Christmas stocking and a turkey and a plum pudding, something that as children we, we look forward to tremendously. Many think Berlin was inspired to write White Christmas during a stay in Beverly Hills while working on a movie. He was homesick for his family. This home movie was made with Berlin's daughters to surprise their father. Here's my present, Dad. He, he kind of stored the lyric away, and it wasn't until uh, a couple years later, in the, in the, over the Christmas season of 1940 into 1941, I believe, that he uh, kind of took the, the, the song, the half-finished song out of what he called his song trunk. Jody Rosen is author of the book, White Christmas. And over the Christmas season that year, um, rewrote the lyric. And it was then that after, after he, the weekend after he'd written it, that he came into his, his uh, song publishing offices and, and announced to his musical secretary, I've just written a new song. Not only is it the best song I've ever written, it's the best song anybody's ever written. You're hearing a recording of the radio premiere of White Christmas. It is Christmas 1941, just 18 days after Pearl Harbor. The song aired on the legendary Bing Crosby's radio show. Eight months later, moviegoers would see and hear Crosby perform the song in the film Holiday Inn. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Critics didn't make, take much notice of it. And it was only when Armed Forces Radio began to play the song overseas and for American troops who found its images of kind of Christmas on the home front so appealing. It was the, the enthusiasm of these troops which really propelled the song and made it a hit. The song is now an American Christmas tradition. Hundreds and hundreds of versions of it recorded by scores and scores of performers. Still, it's the definitive Bing Crosby rendition that makes us stop, listen, and dream along, as it has for so many Decembers. And may all your Christmas be white. Irving Berlin wrote more than 400 hit songs, among them Easter Parade, No Business Like Show Business. He even wrote God Bless America. But tonight, from coast to coast, Americans will be singing his song with today's date in it. The sun is shining, the grass is green, the orange and palm trees sway. There's never been such a day in Beverly Hills, L.A. But it's December the 24th, so it is. And I'm longing to be up north. 
I'm dreaming of a white Christmas Just like the ones I used to know Where the treetops glisten And children listen To hear sleigh bells in the snow Christmas card I write May your days be merry and bright and may all your Christmases be white Merry Christmas everybody <laughs> <laughs>